What a weekend for crypto. Bitcoin uh, uh, this morning bouncing, but it broke uh, 18,000, broke 20,000 over the weekend, getting back to the 21,000 level right now. What a wild ride down from what, 65,000 back in November, Ryan? What do you do now? And how are you feeling after this uh, tough weekend, Ryan? Well, I'm feeling pretty good, Maria, because I don't want to say, didn't I tell you? Um, you know, Dennis and I have been on this show pretty much all last year just telling you what a bubble Bitcoin is, and it was going to be a disaster. It is now a disaster, and, uh, you know, I want to take a victory lap, but I'll probably fall on my face. But I think, you know, <laughs> I, I mentioned on your show, in February 2021, that's when the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market was worth $3 trillion. You could have bought the entire energy sector in the U.S., and I mentioned this on your show, that's when oil was at $50 a barrel. If you would have made that trade, yeah. uh, you would have literally made the trade of a lifetime because now we know crypto has lost $2 trillion worth of value. And meanwhile, we know oil has gone to the moon. Um, so it's just the story of productive real assets versus fantasy land. Um, and it's all coming to roost. I mean, all the leverage of borrowing against your Bitcoin, to borrow against more Bitcoin and so on and so forth. All that leverage is still getting out of the system now. Um, and, you know, from our viewpoint, I think a lot of what you're seeing in just the, the capital markets in general is bleeding over from all this deleveraging and stocks are just like major on sale right now um, and you've got to take advantage of it. I mean, I think you're a long term investor right now. You're getting the baby thrown out the bathwater. Uh, the S&P right now trading yeah. at like 14 times forward earnings. Um, you look at small caps. You just mentioned small caps um, right now. They're going to grow their profits up by like 20 percent over the next 12 months. As a long term investor, you're crazy not to buy here. Savings rates. If you're in a savings account right now, it's at like 0.07%. Inflation's at eight. You've got to make some decisions as a long-term investor. Blood in the street. You've got to buy here. You've got to take advantage of this carnage right now, in my humble opinion. So just, so just, so just to be clear, Ryan, would you buy Bitcoin here, or do you think there's <laughs> uh, reason to believe it goes further down from here? Maria, if I wanted to put my money and burn it and just you know, put it on fire, I would buy more Bitcoin here. No, I would not buy Bitcoin here. It's, it's, I think it has more pain to be had here. And I know Dennis agrees with me uh, as Absolutely. well on that. Yeah, I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. It's, it's like the housing okay. bubble back in the day. It's like when the tech stocks of the, the tech bubble burst back in 2000. The same thing's happening here. Uh, buyer beware. Buy okay. productive assets. All right. Brent Schutte and Dennis Garman, great to see you both, gentlemen. Thanks very much. Ryan, you're sticking with us, and we're happy about that all morning.